learned to live with it, I guess, and kind of adapted. It's so nice, you know, see his faces again, well, half faces, um, and, you know, kind of trying to get back to as normal as possible is really nice. I would just say, I think it's honestly going pretty well. We haven't had any rumors of shutting down completely or needing to take breaks or anything like that. And I think we've done a lot better than a lot of people expected. I would have to say probably bringing back a lot of the events that were happening on campus has been really, really awesome. Hockey games are probably my favorite. Um, I went to almost every football game and almost every hockey game uh, during the past year. And that's been something I missed a lot. Professors are really good and on top of things and kids are not going to classes if they feel unwell and I feel really comfortable, which is really awesome, so. But I think something that I have confidence at this point is UMaine's ability to adapt. At first it took me a while to adjust because with all the COVID restrictions and stuff, it was kind of hard to move around and living on campus. I, I wasn't really used to it because I'm from New York and so it's a lot different here in Maine. But now I like it. I like the campus. I like the people here. Everybody's really nice, so. And that first week of classes in the fall was just a very refreshing, like energizing environment. So I don't really have a specific memory, but I think it was just that feeling of, okay, here we are, we're back, this feels normal again. Actually seeing people walking around is kind of nice. Shout out to Susan Bearden, who was my marketing professor and made everything so organized for my online class that I didn't even feel stressed out. And I loved that. Velma Fingens in the new media department, absolutely. She's an absolute rock star. Uh, helped me get back on track uh, with my credits and to graduate this spring. As someone who is in the residence halls and is exposed to a lot of people, they've, you know, they really tried hard this year to make sure that I felt confident, um, you know, kind of pursuing my, my RA duties. There's a professor in my department, Dr. Lauren Ross, who's been extremely helpful, incredibly impassioned, and really looks out for the students in the department. I can't think of one specific person, but I think it's kind of it's kind of nice to see the just community in general kind of picking each other up and helping each other through this. People at the Newman Center actually have reached out and really brought me in and made this year awesome. I know quite a few people you know are going to Florida and they're not doing so great with COVID, and so it's just their concerns of you know coming back and having no masks, and then you know we're all gonna be sent home again. Like, I don't wanna do that. I'm graduating in May. Like, I wanna have an in-person graduation like as much as possible. And I think there needs to be a lot more student uh, resources, especially mental health resources and accommodating academics. And I really hope that I have as normal of a senior year as possible, but I know that the world right now isn't normal in general. And it might be hard to find the normal that was present before COVID. There are restrictions that are out there. People just have to follow them and I think we'll be fine. To me, like it was, it's very important to like walk across the stage and like take pictures with my family because uh, it's been four years of some pretty trying times. So it'll be nice to commemorate that. Yeah.